The next question is very commonly asked, um, especially in the last couple of years. LDN worked very well for my chronic migraines. Then I caught COVID and my migraines worsened in intensity and frequency. I'm currently on 4.5 milligrams at night and 0.5 milligram in the morning. Would any changes be helpful to improve my response? Thanks. Great question. Really, really great question. So COVID, that virus, um, does increase inflammation throughout the body. Um, migraines are usually an inflammatory process of different areas of the brain. When they inflame, they cause pressure that causes significant headaches. Anytime that we can reduce that inflammation, of which LDN is, is very helpful in doing. But if you're taking 4.5 milligrams in the morning and a half a milligram, sorry, 4.5 milligrams at night and a half a milligram in the morning, what you might want to try again, talking with your provider first, is perhaps lower your bedtime dose. It's not uncommon that when we're dealing with significant inflammatory issues and chronic pain, that we have found that some people respond to twice a day dosing quite well. Again, they are followed very carefully by their providers. They're followed very carefully by their compounding pharmacists. And rarely do we go over a total daily dose of four and a half milligrams. So you're on a total daily dose right now of five milligrams, which isn't bad. I'm not saying that that's wrong by any means. There are some people that even go up to six. However, if your migraines have worsened and the intensity is worsened, you might want to lower the bedtime dose because you've, in because you've added the morning dose. You could even increase the morning dose and lower the bedtime dose even further. So those two doses do not have to be equal. They can be two different strengths. And in this situation, it's probably trial and error. What people have also experienced, and again, depending on what part of the world you live in, is that sometimes we need to support the body with other, other uh, supplements. Magnesium is a great muscle relaxant. Uh, magnesium goes into the cell, it relaxes. Calcium goes into the cell, it contracts, tightens up. So you may even want to take a look at magnesium, like magnesium glycinate, magnesium taurate. Um, those two are available over the counter in professional supplements. That might help. LDN works really well with those. I'm not sure if you're using any other medications, but you might also want to take a look at making sure you're really well hydrated and um, perhaps look at your diet and if there's anything that you might be able to change there. I would be very careful about increasing caffeine because sometimes we can have rebound issues and we have actually seen, and again, this is an anecdotal statement because I can only relate to what I see in my pharmacy is that when we see increase in migraine or increase in headaches due to COVID, when we add supplements, that's very helpful, but sometimes we have to change the diet at least for a, a short period of time because the virus tends to also change what is happening in the gut. And some people become more sensitive to certain foods that they weren't sensitive to before. And again, you only have to do it for about seven to 14 days to see that change. And if it doesn't change, then simply go back to your, your old ways. You've got nothing to lose there. But I would work with your medical provider to perhaps lower your bedtime dose, perhaps increase your morning dose, and try not to go over a total daily dose of 4.5. And again, document, use a chart, use a calendar, whatever works for you. Sometimes there's handy dandy note processes or note uh, taking apps in our phones, whatever is going to work for you, but definitely keep track so that you know what you've changed, when you changed it, what your symptoms did or didn't change. And that way you can really evaluate exactly what's going to work for you. Change one thing at a time, do that for about a week to two weeks, and then and document everything, 
journal, change something up. See if that helps. Great question. Thanks so much, Lynn.